up everyone, it's tw Colin here on day 28 of my 30 day dating challenge. So let me start off by saying I cannot stand the online dating process. Uh, man, it is just a nightmare. Uh, for all my uh, single brothers and sisters out there who are browsing the online dating world, uh, I pour some of my 40 out for you because that sucks. Oh man, maybe it's just me. I just feel like it's a second job or something. Like you're just sitting there like browsing these online profiles. You're like reading everyone's resume. And uh, everyone says the same thing. Everyone's like, oh, I'm very fun and outgoing, and I like the, I'm the mountains and the blah, blah. And, and then, uh, you know, there's pictures, and then you've got this thing that you can like, like or dislike on. It's like a Tinder app. You can just like them on, you know, and then they like you, and then you guys talk, and ah. um, And then, so the, the one person I actually had a conversation with on here so far, um, and maybe I just need to invest some more time. That just does not sound like fun to me, but. So the one person I started talking to um, had this thing in her profile that she said, I'm TG and you better be okay with that, mofo. Um, and <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. And so I asked her after like we talked for a minute and she said it means uh, transgender, which isn't personally my, my thing, but um, I mean, I guess you never know. <laughs> and you know, I had this thought in my head that like, well, I'm, I'm you know, like it opened to new experiences with this challenge. I might, you know, maybe I could just make a friend or something like, because I'm definitely not into that uh, relationship-wise, but, uh, you know. Um, and, you know, and then we talked further, and she said she hadn't had the bottom surgery done. And then I just got to thinking, like, hey, this just isn't a good idea. I don't want to, like, you know, uh, lead her on or him on or whatever. Um, so, anyway, uh, that's just been a, an interesting uh, synopsis. And I, so far, I've got 21. Uh, at a, it's day 28. I've got 21 dates. So I need in three days to do nine dates. So uh, maybe if this online dating thing turns around, I could like rapid fire three a day or something. Um, and I also did a, do a Skype date. And let me just say that uh, I have, because of this challenge, I've been like doing things that I wouldn't normally do. Like I wouldn't normally like take time. You know, this, I've got this conversation in my head. I don't have enough time to do things like that. But I'm just, and you know, I'm going on like random like, like short uh, coffee dates to hang out with people or whatever. And I'm just noticing that like I, um, I'm doing things that I wouldn't normally do because I'd, I'd be like, oh, I don't have time or, but it's actually really enriching my life because I'm actually like, I, I genuinely love like connecting with other people and I'm, and I'm getting this connection. Like I connected with somebody over Skype that I wouldn't normally ever connect with. And um, cause I would never set up a Skype date. It's just not like what I would do. And it, but it was actually so fun and enriching and like I got to connect with somebody and it, you know, it really is part of like what I, like if I was creating my ideal lifestyle, like connecting with people on a regular basis would totally be a part of that. And without agenda, which, which is exactly what I'm doing. So it's actually like sort of, you know, I didn't really plan it that way, but that's what it's kind of becoming. And it's actually totally fulfilling. Um, you know, like, and with the same thing with the, the girl who was from Russia, who was just here for a short period, like, I, I don't think I would have gone out with her just because I knew she was leaving. But at the same time, I was just like, ah, screw it. What, you know, and I actually made a genuinely awesome connection with her. And I have a friend that like lives across the world now. So um, that's been fantastic. So let me just say that if you want to, like what I've been really getting out of this so far, that if you really want to, you know, improve your dating life, to add some fun, like add as much fun as you possibly can to your own life and to your dating situation and reduce any expectations. That's, that's what I've done. Uh, you know, like in the past when I've dated, I've had expectations and like, where's this going to go and what is the right thing to say? I've actually dropped all of that and everything, every date that I've gone on has been like pretty fantastic for the most part. Um, it's just provided a lot of room just to connect and like, I have no agenda whatsoever. Um, well, and no conscious agenda at least I think. But for the most part, I really don't. And it's, it's actually provided for like this, this space of like opening up for connection with new people and just dropping a lot of the, um, the like seeking approval and stuff that I've talked about before. So anyway, if you want to improve your dating world, just like I said, uh, well drop the online dating stuff. I think that's just a waste of time personally, but <laughs> do whatever you want. Um, I mean, I'm still going to explore it further, but I'll, and I'll keep you, I'll tell you more about it if I turn around on my opinion about it, but that sucks I think and um but just adding a f element of fun and just dropping like expectations and just having genuine connections and opening yourself up to more connections that you would normally have like like hanging out with people you wouldn't normally conceptually think that would work out because I've been pleasantly surprised by a number of people so anyway thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon